I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. <laughs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, though. The one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Wait, don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's... I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I... I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and... Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Wow, Matt. Good call. Radio. So smart. Why are you being so bitchy? We're in a serious situation well, here. Well, Matt, easy. Good looking. 
Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Bad boy, you're coming with me, buddy. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. You all right? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. Okay. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. doesn't work. What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. There is another option. The sanatorium we saw on the map. Hun, I think that place is pretty abandoned. They wouldn't have built a place like that on a mountain without some emergency contact to the outside world. Yeah, I mean, you might be right, but I have no desire to go spooking around in that place. Let's put it in the maybe column. This is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Watch where you step around here, Em. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. <sighs>
Hello? Guys? What are you doing out there? Being creepy. Okay. Sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Chris? Josh? What the hell? Chris, Mike, Emily, this is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a... Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. are you guys? Wow, this is weird. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Hello, Samantha. <laughs> Looking for me. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, what Samantha. The hell? You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show what you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing woman. Why? Why did Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are life? you showing this to me? Why are you watching? Josh! How does it make oh! you feel? Oh! Oh! oh my god, what did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. No, eight, no, 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 no! Seven. Please!
Now, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done. Your game seems to be going very well. Yes. All the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of the supernatural. You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Walk slow. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. If we do manage to get someone on the radio... We will. ...then we tell them we need help. But what do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh, God, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. No kidding. I can't see. What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably.
super weird. Almost inside. Yeah. Oh, come on. Great. No power. Gotta be a switch or something around here. 